So there's incredible interest in AI um, across the industry, and this is also, you know, when we look at it, AI is really the defining technology that's shaping the next generation of computing, and frankly, it's AMD's largest and most strategic long-term growth opportunity. Now, in AI, we're focused on three key areas. First, it's delivering a broad portfolio of high-performance GPUs, CPUs, and adaptive computing solutions for AI training and inference spanning across data center, edge, and intelligent endpoints. Second, it's developing an open and proven software platform to enable our AI hardware to be deployed broadly and easily. And third, it's really working with the industry, and it's expanding the deep and collaborative partnerships we have established to really enable the ecosystem to accelerate AI solutions at scale, because in this space, it's all about the ecosystem. Now, when you look at where we are today, we're actually very uniquely positioned with a broad portfolio of AI platforms across data center, edge, and endpoint. And that's powered by a number of engines. That's powered by our Ryzen AI engine, our Versal, our Alveo, our Epic, and of course, our Instinct accelerators. Now, looking at where we're deployed today, it's really in many, many different places. So if you look at the edge, for example, NASA uses our leadership FPGAs on the Mars rovers to accelerate AI-based image detection. When you look at automotive, Daimler, Vionier, Subaru, these are just some of our customers that are using AI silicon and software to power their driver assist and advanced safety features. In healthcare, leaders like Clarius are using AMD adaptive SOCs for faster AI-based imaging and solutions to really allow doctors to make quicker and more accurate diagnoses. And industrial, customers like ABB are using our technology for AI-assisted robotics. And Kakao Cloud is using many of our products for their vision applications such as AI-based privacy and road systems. And earlier this year, we launched our Ryzen 7040 series CPUs, the industry's first x86 processors with a dedicated AI engine. And these have been ramping nicely, and we expect more than 70 Windows PC designs from the top OEMs to launch later this year, powered by Ryzen AI. So when you look at all that, there's no question that AI will be the key driver of silicon consumption for the foreseeable future but the largest opportunity is in the data center. And over the last six months or so, the broad adoption of generative AI with large language models has really taken this growth to a different level. So people keep asking me, you know, what is the opportunity, Lisa? What is the opportunity? Um, what I'd like to say is, look, we are still very, very early in the life cycle of AI. I mean, there's so much opportunity for us. But when we try to size it, we think about the data center AI accelerator TAM growing from you know, something like $30 billion this year, over 50% compound annual growth rate to over $150 billion in 2027. And it may be higher, it may be lower. <laughs> but what I can say for sure is it's going to be a lot uh, because there's just tremendous, tremendous demand.